do and how I do it. That's not how we do things here. I fear change. On today's episode of K-Pop Rants. What's up, everybody? Big Will, K-Pop for life. That's not weird. That's my left hand. I don't like it. What's up, everybody? Big Will, K-Pop for life. Coming back at ya. And we're back with another subscriber ask question that turns into me making an eight minute rant video. So, Night Terrors, who did not want me to say his name or her name is now being referenced multiple times, has asked, what are my thoughts on international fans pushing Western ideology to Korea? Mainly complaining about Korean society without having any idea on how to create change. I think that those people are dumbasses and ideologues who have a dogmatic approach to life and generally tend to be extremely immature and have no grasp on the fact that there is a whole wide world outside of whatever country they come from that does not think or act the same way they do and in many cases is the antithesis to how they think or act and then they try to judge these other countries based on their own culture and they look like idiots so that's kind of how I feel. <laughs> so let's let's speak from from a, from a standpoint that I can come from, which is people from the West trying to influence Korea to be better. I see it all the time, and it irks the shit out of me. And they do it here too, right? They're always attempting to sort of push all these social changes on everything, and. It's always very agenda driven. It's never allowed to be something that's done organically. And and they sort of enforce this sort of obnoxious cattle-like groupthink through Twitter mobs and, you know, mainstream media, um, you know, pushing whatever ideology they want to push, whether it be on the left or the right. And then, you know, they take this mindset, this, this uh, you know, rule rule by uh rule by popular opinion and then they try to push this on a, on a society like korea that's uh, extremely homogenous and culturally different familial structure different value system different and they say oh well they're very insensitive about something like race it's like well 90 fucking eight percent of their population is korean and they they don't have to deal with it like we do here in the west like here it's there's every race on the planet. I work with people from like 55 different countries. Like I'm around it all the time. I'm used to it. I, I, it, it doesn't, I, I'm, it's like normal to me. But if you take all these different races and stuff and stick them in a country where they don't, they don't see that almost ever. Yeah, that's, that's what happens. Like it takes time to organically change and acting like a psychopath or you know, attacking them or trying to ram it down their throats. Sure, you may initiate change by backing them into a corner or causing them to lose money. So then they, the only reason they're actually changing their minds is because they're not having the proper, you know, they're thought policing them. And then, I mean, the, the um, like homosexuality in Korea is still, I mean, it's way, it's viewed way differently there than it is here. We know, we're here, they're, you know, gays are allowed to be married. Uh, I mean, they pretty much have the same rights as everybody else. Yes, it's, you know, it's never, it's not perfect yet, but I mean, compared to places like, you know, Saudi Arabia or Iran, it, it's it's a lot better. But I mean, in Korea, that's, that's not the norm. And it's sort of, you know, it's frowned upon. People still hide themselves there. And, and I personally don't think, you know, you should have to, but that's the way it is. So you can't, just all of a sudden but oh i enjoy k-pop let me push my beliefs on an entire country how dare you not, it, you can't do that you, you can't do that it's not how it works because again if you want real organic change if you want a cultural shift towards that ideal ideological mindset you can't like browbeat somebody or you know shit posts about them in Twitter mobs, you're not going to get real change. You're either going to get somebody that says fuck off or you're going to get somebody that basically will in public say one thing and then believe an entirely different thing. 
and then that's not real that's pandering that's all you're gonna get i mean it it can be it the list goes on and on those are just the two biggest ones that you always sort of hear about on youtube uh, i don't know I'm, I'm curious what your guys thoughts are i mean uh, these last couple of freaking questions have gotten me into like a slightly political realm but it's not really intended to be like that because i'm kind of a centrist but you know what are your guys thoughts on this do you think that uh, international uh, influences and international fans have any right to sort of try to dictate the cultural norms and standards of Korea or any country for that matter? Or do you think that the proper thing to do is to respect their culture and maybe be an example, you know, for other countries and that they can sort of, you know, change accordingly and, 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 and shift organically. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like what you see and you want to see more, click one of the two links that's pop up, going to pop up below. And if you um, are pissed off right now and you're shit posting, let's have a real, let's have a, a, a real conversation. Cause this is the kind of stuff I love talking about this kind of stuff. Like this kind of stuff is awesome. Like I, I have, I have my viewpoints, but I always respect other people's viewpoints on this because everybody comes from a different walk and place in life. And, um, you know, they're not always easy topics to talk about because sometimes they hit nerves and sometimes people misconstrue the way that I talk for maybe being a dick when I'm really not. I'm just blunt. But, um, yeah, let me know. Leave a comment. And as always, keep on popping, K-poppers. Remember, it's not a trend. It's a lifestyle. Deuces. Do you feel the pull?